All right, let's talk about some of the things that we have here. One, I have my hog tumblers. Um, these are the Snow Globe glitter tumblers. I don't know why they're called glitter tumblers, but maybe because you, I don't know. And they came with little stoppers to put underneath. So I'm really excited about that. That's going to be amazing. Um, we also have, we're going to do two jars. So we're going to do one jar that has the magical Elmer's magical liquid in it. And we're going to do the other jar where we do the Elmer's clear glue and the distilled water. Some people use a funnel. Some people um, use tape and tap it down. And that's what we're going to do today. Let me show you guys what I do with my painter's tape. Um, just because I found it to be more easy. So either the painter's tape or the masking tape, whichever. Um, I kind of guesstimate. I'm not really guesstimating if I'm doing this, huh? About how much I need to go around. And then I tear that piece off. And then what I do is lay it down and then lay another piece on top of it. And the reason that I do that is so that I'm not losing or wasting so much glitter. So I just take another piece and I lay down it to just about half of the tape. So the sticky half is going to go around the glass and then the top half where I am shaking that glitter down is going to be covered where it doesn't take all my glitter away. So I just do like this and then that way, I don't know if you can see that, but the, the sticky part is covered where now I can um, go ahead and tap my glitter down and not lose a lot of glitter to the tape. So now that we have our glitter in place, like I said, I'm just going to tap a little bit of this glitter into the bottom of this jar. And then I'm going to mix some into my magical liquid. So I am just, I poured some in there like you saw. And look, look, my glitter is not sticking all to the side. So I'm really happy about that. Um, of course, you're going to get some down in the crevice, but it's nowhere near what I've lost in previous, you know, attempts of doing this. So I am just putting, like I said, a little bit down in here. And then I'm going to mix some of my glitter. I just want some of this pretty recollections um, glitter in here first. that all in there. Like I said, I'm just putting just a little bit around that rim. I don't want too much because, you know, glitter. Um, I don't want it to be where I can't get the glue underneath it and then you got glitter stuck at the top. If that makes sense. Or you, once you do a couple, you'll see what I'm saying. So, Like I said, and with this like this, whatever, whatever I don't use, I can pour into a, a piece of paper or a plate or something and then put it back in my jar. Because, again, I don't want to waste glitter if I don't have to. So there is what I've done and I'm kind of tapping it around, kind of getting it kind of even at the bottom there. And then what I'm going to do is take my magical liquid, which I'm going to tell y'all, I thought this stuff was... When people say it's like all suspended, I thought that it would be thicker than what it was. So, but it's not as thick as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to fill this little squeeze bottle up maybe a little over half. And then we'll see what we need after that. And then what I'm going to do now is mix myself a glitter mix. So I'm just going to take some of these purples that I have and I am going to just um, let, let, you know, <laughs> I don't even know. I can't say nature because it's not nature, but I'm going to mix these up and, and see what we can make. That's beautiful. 
So, ooh, put too much of that in there. All right. Okay, so I got my popsicle stick. I'm gonna stir this mix together here. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, so pretty. All right, so then I'm gonna take my mix and I am gonna pour it into my magical liquid. Put my top on, put a little bit also of the other kind. I should have mixed that in there. And then I'm gonna shake it up. So look, how pretty. All right, so once I feel like I have shaken it well, so I'm gonna pop my top off here. Have a napkin ready, y'all, have a napkin. And then we're gonna go ahead and start squeezing our mixture into, Oop. I need to cut this open a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna keep, like I said, letting that flow in there. The fun, uh, if you saw that, like it's giving me a hard time when I let the whole thing be covered, but now it's running in there just fine. But I have to leave like a little air pocket, it seems, in order for my mixture to come down. So and you can see that it has started to flow right there. So it's starting to flow. So just so you can see, I'm almost done filling it. I did at maybe, like I said, I did about a little over 50%. So I probably made it like 75% um, just so that I could have enough. And all I did was just added a little more liquid glue and shook it up. Um, I will say the uh, bigger, chunkier pieces is giving me a hard time right now. Um, because they keep clogging up the little nozzle. Um, so just something to be aware of. So I've had to take it out a few times and I have like a few skewers here. So I just take my skewer and get the big pieces out of the nozzle. And then I'll um, run my napkin through here so I can pull a, a few more of them out. Um, but then it gets clogged right back up. So, but just what I'm doing, just to try to help myself here a little bit. But like I said, almost done with getting this thing filled up. So I'm hoping you can see this. Like there's a big air bubble right here and then it's full right here. The hole is right here. So when that fills up, I just try to move that air bubble around. Um, let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So like right now, I just filled up that spot. So what I'm gonna do is shift my bottle or my jar, my tumbler around to where I can get more into that air bubble. So that's what I'm gonna do to fill it up. So here we are, it is done. It is done and it is pretty. So, like I said, I'm going to let this degas. Um, and you can see, like, my air bubbles are pretty much non existent. There's a little one right there, which I think you need kind of a little one, um, just so I can move around some. But we're going to let this degas 
and then I'm gonna pop get as many air bubbles up as I can and then if I need to add a little bit more I will um, but this is it so this is the purple one and now we'll work on the pink one um, we're gonna do what we did before and we're going to add mix some glitters together So these, I'm pretty much using all fine glitter. This is about the chunkiest that I have. I don't even know where I got this glitter from, but we're going to mix it in because it has some cute little colors in it. Um, I think I might put some silver in this one. Um, let's see what we got here. I don't buy a lot of pink, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not anti-pink, but I feel like I'm anti-pink because <laughs> I don't buy any many things with pink in it. So that's what we have right now. Oh, shoot. We're going to put our mix in at the bottom like we did before. So see, this is what I was talking about before. Like, I can pour this in here and then save that, put that back into my mix. Nothing has gotten wet yet or anything like that. So I can save my mixes when I make them. Um, so I'm gonna put it right in the cup and not even worry. And then the tape isn't holding this mix because you know, it has that, it has that um, side that's just not sticky because we put that extra piece of tape there. So just something to think about. So this is about how much we have in it, like less than a quarter, maybe an eighth. Maybe once I get this tapped around, it might be a like a quarter at the bottom, a quarter of an inch is what I mean, not a quarter. So here we have so far. So we're gonna go ahead and make our mix. So with this, we did six ounces of um, the, well, six ounces was the whole jar um, squeeze bottle. So we're gonna do, we're gonna just go ahead and do three and th three and three. Or actually I'm gonna, uh, normally I do a 50-50 mix, but I think today we're gonna do, I just wanna see if I can make it thicker like the Liquid Magic, so or even thicker than the Liquid Magic. So I'm gonna do four ounces of the clear glue, which is, um, maybe, maybe it is the same consistency of the Magic Liquid. And then I'm gonna do two ounces of distilled water. And then we're gonna put them in a jar and mix them together. And then we're gonna mix our um, glitter in with it. We're gonna mix these two components together. And then like I said, we're gonna mix our glue in, I mean our glitter in as well. So that is about four ounces of the liquid glue, as we said. And then we're gonna put our distilled water in here. Like thus and so. And then we're gonna shake this together and then we're gonna add our glue to it. Let's see. Shake it up some and then we'll put some more in. That's how it's gonna look. I think I'm gonna be in love <laughs> with the tape. So this is what I should have did the last time. 
And as you can see, like, look at, look at the waist on this compared to what you would normally get. So this is like amazing to me. Um, so yeah, if you can save yourself some of your glitter where you can use it for some other projects, I would do it. So like I said, this is a good setup. Um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Look at that. And because it's, you know, the fine glitter, look how much easier it started off. So I'm gonna mess with this glitter for a little bit, you guys, and then I'm gonna come back where you guys can see both of them. So I'm just gonna fill that back up so again, we don't have the air bubbles and we can get some of this glitter down. Okay, so we got them both filled. So I'm still gonna let them sit overnight and then we'll put a decal on them. Um, but look at freaking how pretty they are. So this one has a little air bubble and I think I'm okay with it. I think I'm okay with it because it's little. Um, this one has a little space right here that looks more clear. I think that's where I'm gonna put the decal. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it's freaking amazing. They're gorgeous. So um, I am gonna, like I said, let these rest and then we will finish them up in the morning or tomorrow.